Well, it's not Britney. It's Big Brother. The global superstars fight for personal liberty and freedom, bringing the bright lights of Vegas to a dark reality for many Americans, which Britney Spears says has ranged from forced labor to having birth control implanted in her body against her will. Britney Spears set for another round in court this afternoon as she fights to get out of the conservatorship that her father has controlled with the government's backing through the courts for more than a decade. Rallies to support her have popped up coast to coast and here in D.C., where a rally is set to start soon at the Lincoln Memorial. A lot of demonstrators are simply Britney superfans. Yeah, we'll have a look at that in just a moment, but for many, the story is not about a celebrity. It's about an almost 40-year-old mother of young children who had a mental health crisis more than a decade ago. And in the years since, the bizarre paparazzi pics in that head-shaving scene around the world, supporters say Britney has proven that she can manage her health, her family, and her wealth, her multi-million dollar career, by herself. Now the supporters are bringing the fight to D.C. and demanding Congress take action, not just for Britney, but for Americans who want control over their own lives. Almost everybody has something to say about this. Let's kick things off with Jeff Paul on today's big hearing. He's live in Los Angeles. Hi, Jeff. Yeah, Sandra, nothing is going to be decided today on whether or not Britney Spears' conservatorship goes away or stays. Today's hearing is more about her future legal representation and whether or not she gets a say in who that might be. That's because her court-appointed attorney has asked the judge to be removed from the case shortly after that last hearing three weeks ago where Britney Spears spoke out publicly for the first time. She told the judge then that she wasn't aware she could request for the conservatorship to end. So now a judge could decide on a new court-appointed lawyer or could allow Spears to pick one herself. Trial lawyer Brian Claypool, who's not involved in this case, says if Britney Spears could go shopping, sing, choreograph music, she's more than capable of picking her lawyer. It's shocking that for some reason the court believes that Britney's now not able to simply pick her own lawyer. I mean, this is clearly a, a, a black eye on the legal system. It's almost like Britney Spears has been in legal prison for 12 years. So who could be the next to represent Spears in court? That part is a little unclear, although some reports indicate Spears is in talks with Hollywood attorney Matthew Rosengard, who has a long list of stars he's represented. It sounds like he could be here today in court. And of course, Spears has the option of calling in just like she did last time. We have no word on whether or not that will happen, but we will certainly learn more when things get underway here in about two and a half hours. Sandra.